we have your Friday morning announcements. And we'll start, uh, I think I'll start with some sports results. Not too many sports results, so we'll start there. Uh, and it's mostly about freshman basketball. And it was a good night last night. We'll put the Warrior Spotlight on our three freshman basketball teams. Uh, in the first game last night in our gym, uh, Warrior men's uh, red team uh, tied the Trojans at 19-19. But in the second half, the Warrior defense got tougher. The offense opened up a seven-point lead after three quarters. And in the final frame, the Warriors uh, held off a Trojan rally and made free throws down the stretch to seal the win. I think it was 48-44 at the end. Warriors were paced by uh, Seth Sumner with 15 points. Andrew Todd added 14, and Alex Garrett and Jacob uh, Bakkenstead hit two free uh, throws, clutch free throws at the end, and both finished with eight points. Later then, in the uh, Warrior gym, uh, Blue was in action against Iowa State West. They also were tied at half, but a strong second half effort actually led to almost a blow win, 49 to 34 for our Blue team. John Gillespie had 26 points, Colin Westmoreland played very well, and added 10 points, Kate Saylor all over the court with this great hustle and defensive end, and that led the way for the Warriors on the defensive side. So uh, both the freshman teams recording victories last night in our gym, and the freshman girls basketball team also won last night. Very physical battle up at Cedar Falls against their ninth graders. Erica Ola led the team with 18 points, actually Hageman added 10, Sarah Altemeyer was the defensive player of the game. And our ninth grade girls team is 4-1 uh, and one heading into the break. So they are having a great season. Interact today, both lunches in the student center. Uh, Model UN today after school in 152. Robotics today after school in 103. And don't forget the chocolate cold grams before and after school. And just so one more reminder on those, uh, they can be anonymous. It's several pieces of chocolate candy uh, wrapped in a little package. So it's really... I intend to be a lighthearted and a fun event, and it's sponsored by iJag, but you have to have your name on it. Uh, so you send out some of the, the message is a generic, it says, I hear you've been naughty this year, or something like that, uh, and uh, then your name and the person that it's to. If they don't know you when they're selling those colograms, they're going to ask you for your ID. If they do, fine, but they're going to ask you for your ID. We just want to be sure that all the messages come from a person who give their actual name. Uh, and send them to a person with their actual name. Uh, so please cooperate with that. We'd appreciate that very much. Uh, ugly Sweater Day on Monday. Contest, top four, get prizes, I believe, of some kind. And also on Monday, this is a great event. This is the PTA-sponsored College Connection. I think we're up to maybe about the fourth annual. This is the day that WASH grads come back and talk about their early college experiences. Just last night, I talked with uh, two students uh, who are uh, Alina, and I can't think of Alina's last name right now, who is at the University of Missouri, having a great experience, anxious to talk about that, uh, and Elena Burke, who is at uh, St. Louis University, anxious to talk about St. SLU uh, at that Monday event. And last week I talked with Keith Hammer, who wants to tell you all about Rice University in Houston. And there'll be lots of grads that are talking about their college experiences. You will learn a lot. It's for 10th through 12th graders. It's during both lunches, uh, during fifth hour, uh, next Monday in the band room. And please, uh, if you're not signed up, get signed up and plan to attend that. You will be excused from your fifth hour class when you're officially signed up. Uh, <coughs> and I think you get lunch. It doesn't say that here. But it's always been a walking taco lunch, so somebody come down and correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, and the School Sense program continues through December 31st, so be sure you're turning in your receipts. And here are today's birthdays. Thomas Fisher, Owen Haug, Jada Hicks, Caitlin Oler, Skylar Rick, and Nathan Topping. Here are the birthdays over the weekend. Michaela Branch, Courtney Chapoka, Savika Lee, Emily Nelson, Victoria Eniola, and Dylan Shelton and Halber Stagg. And basketball here tonight. Uh, sophomores in varsity at 6 and 7.30 against the number one rated Obviously, the West Trojans, but they're going to go down tonight. I have a strong feeling of that. And our girls play down there. Bowling and action at Lancer Lanes against Cedar Falls. And uh, also several events coming up tomorrow. Lunch today, ravioli with garlic toast at First and Forest. Also uh, at First and Forest, sun butter and jelly sandwiches at GW's and Red and Blue both. Walking tacos with Spanish rice. Also an established in 57. Fish wedge and garlic cheese bread with marinara sauce. So lots of lunch choices today. And uh, I'll 
make one more comment about basketball if we have time after all the student announcers. The Red Cross will be holding a blood drive December 26, Friday. For more info, come find me during, before uh, school, passing time, or after school for the sign up. Hey guys, um, thanks to everyone that came out to FDIC's improv show. Um, I had a couple of people talk to me about not really knowing what improv was. Um, improv were, we get up on stage and sometimes we take suggestions from the crowd and we just do a scene, um, no script, no preparation, um, and it's really fun. So our next one, I am not sure if we're having one in January, but um, February for sure. Um, so thanks for that. And all members of Vivachi, um, everyone was invited to the party. It's to get to know um, everyone, and it's at Allie Hefke's house. So please speak to her about RSVP. Thanks, guys. This Saturday. Hi, guys. Um, there's a soccer meeting after school today. It's in Senior Burke's room, which is room 230. So come if you're at all interested in playing in the spring. Thanks. Hi guys, Interact meets today during both lunches in the Student Center. Um, bring your dues, and if you don't have them today, you can still come, and if you haven't been to a meeting <coughs> this year, you can also still come, so, yeah. Mandatory GSA leadership meeting today. Make sure you go after school. And it's a whiteout night for uh, cancer. It's coaches versus cancer event in our gym, so wear white when you come to the men's basketball game tonight. Thanks for your attention to these Friday announcements.